hello guys welcome to the new video in today's video we are demonstrate a new project and the project's title is voting management systems we have made this project using two uh, languages php and mysql html is a javascript php and the, uh, for the database we have used mysql so all the database are stored in a jam server because inside the jam server we have used mysql you can use workbench but i am i am more i am comfortable with the jam server so i use jam servers but you can use workbench also so this is the project voting management systems we have a two modules one is user and one is admins for the more details about this project you can check the website updategar.com that the link of this website i will provide the descriptions and you can check the uh, that that more details about this project if you are new to the channel you can check all the other project also like we have we have made so many projects in the different languages like java php mysql and uh, python so you can check all these projects you can just go to a playlist and check and python projects java projects react project spring boot projects whatever you need you can check now we will come to the uh, our project for the more details you can check this website like php.com and just updategar.com just select the php project and then select click here you can check after navigating the php project list there are lots of project you can check any of the project or or the project that you need it just select the online voting management and after that it will navigate to the main page on this on this page you will find all the details of this project that we that you needed or or you want to update anything inside that project now we will come to the our project first we need to login as admin or you can login as a user so now i am just login as a admin and the password is 12345 now i just login as a admin inside the admin panel you can check the dashboard here it will display the voter total uh, voters that the voted by in that got these you uh, that these 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 candidates and another is sample so first you can check the position as you know that the last year for the last year students projects are the most important because we have to submit the project in, inside the college and we have to represent our project in, into the Uh, for the jobs also like if you are a fresher so you need to showcase your project to the interviewer so you need to uh, make a project like that uh, that would be, that would be good for your college also and for your job also and one more thing you have a good experience to explain the project so that's uh, the way i am explaining to you you can explain the similar way to your interview and in your college also so if you are interested in this project you can check the description of this video and can contact with us for the downloading or for the source code of this project now i am explaining the each component of this project like first we have the positions number of the positions we have only two uh two uh we have only two votings one is for the best villain and one is for the sample you can add a new position by describe the positions like uh, i am explaining i am describe decode it and maximum vote we need only 3 and then submit now we have voters list currently we have these voters votes here we have the voter list you can add a new voter by selecting the new and then adding the name of the voter and the image and the password and after that you can select the save button as i have already added a new decode it so i will use this password and this user we need to use a voter id for the login here we have a short option also you can sort by the name by the first name by the photo by the voter id now the positions we have uses this we can edit the positions also if you want to add the uh, number of votes or increases you want to add so you can just select this 
so you can select this and you will increase the number of vote now positions now candidate we have these candidates currently we have this candidate you can add a new candidate by clicking the new the first name of the candidate we have using update and the last name good and the position decode it we use an image just go to the image and then select an image I'm just selecting this Java and the description test code and then save so we have added this decoded on the position of update guard okay now ballot position this will up ballot position currently we have only this one candidate into the decoded you can add more candidate also now here this is the this is all about the admin panel if you want to update anything inside the admin you can update from here just clicking the update section and then update here so this is all about the admin panel now we will navigate to the user panel just select the logout button and then logout so now I will navigate to the user panel okay now I'm using the ID for the ID I need and for the ID I need to I need to log in again as an admin because I don't know the ID so I just log in again as an admin and then check the ID for that user just select the dashboard total voters and the ID for this user is this just copy and then select now we will navigate again to the user panel and then use the ID and the password and then select the sign in button so now you have already signed up because I have already used this so I need to create a new account okay for the new account I am going to admin and then admin one two three four five so I need to log in as a new user because if 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 a user has already uh, voted then the user do not vote again only one time only one user one time so we have to create a new user for the user I'm just navigate new user and I'm using test test password is test and the image I'm using an image this one okay so now the new user is created with the name of test so I need to check where it goes I think this one okay so I using I'm, I'm copying this email ID of this user and then navigate to the user panel and copy and paste now it will display the total elections as we have the three elections list we can use only one election list but I'm using a three election list so I can I can use as many as I can so I just selected the three four one three candidate you can use the preview option but as we have mentioned only you can select the three candidate as I have selected the four candidate it's, it's not working right now now it's showing me the sample sample for this sample for this and sample for this if I want to submit this if I want to submit my vote I just select this submit and then it submitted this vote you can check the bullet you can check the ballot by selecting this view ballot so this is all about the voting management system using the PHP if you are interested or if you want to modify anything inside this project you can check the description of this video or you can connect with us for the source code of this project so thank you for watching this video